Okay, hey you guys, what up? So, <clears throat> I'm clearly in the hospital. And that is because I, you know, thought I had a sinus infection. And I was having really bad trouble breathing. And I was feeling very faint. And so my boyfriend took me to the hospital because the clinic was closed. And <coughs> I found out I'm COVID positive. I didn't ever think in my life I'd get the COVID. But this shit is real, like, it's, it's real. I honestly didn't think I'd ever get it. Like, before I came to Washington, when I lived in Wyoming, there were two people in the apartment that were infected by it. And they both did not wear their masks, even when they went out in public, or when they were in the apartment complex, they did not wear their masks. And it, this whole thing started a week ago. Like, when I left, like, I just thought my the coughing and all that were just, you know, my asthma or, you know, just the smoke in the air. But no, it apparently it was the start of COVID. And I guess it's good I came here tonight because they caught it in time. Because, I don't know, I'm just, I'm so out of it. I, I'm still baffled still, I guess. <coughs> my doctors and nurses keep asking me these really complex questions that I can't even answer and it's just so hard. You know, the doctor said, you know, staying here ranges from three to five days. It just depends on, you know, a person's body and their immune system. You know, my boyfriend, his friend said I would be here for 14 days. Um, yeah, and I'm, apparently the hospital here is completely packed. There's no rooms available upstairs. So, this is my room. It's the exam room. Yeah, so I'm gonna be in the exam room until they find a bed, until they open up a bed upstairs. So that's really fun. I just, I can't believe this is happening to me. Um, they got me hooked up to all these wires. They have me on oxygen. <coughs> because apparently my oxygen kept dropping. So, I just, I feel so horrible right now. I'm like, the thought of getting my boyfriend and his, his two-year-old and his mom infected it just really scares me and it bothers the living hell out of me. Like, I don't know if I'm going to ever live with myself if I ever got any of them infected. I don't think I could ever forgive myself. Like, it's not my fault because I didn't even know about it. We all saw it was just a sinus infection because of my symptoms. And I'm sorry about my hair, it just I didn't even get time to wash it today. And I've been sweating nonstop. I've been having cold sweats, hot sweats, just randomly. So I honestly do look an actual disaster and I forget, I apologize for that. But. I will definitely try to keep you guys posted. So, yeah.